Taking this ghastly risk is the condition of there being life. You see, for all, the life is an act of faith and an act of gamble. Because you don't really know that the floor is not going to give under your feet. The moment you take a step, what an act of faith. The moment you take a journey, what an act of faith. The willingness, the willingness to fail, the willingness to try to experiment, the willingness to take some chances. What's the first thing they say when you get on an airplane before they take off? Fasten your seatbelt. Why? Because you will experience some turbulence before you reach a comfortable altitude. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, there are some times when things aren't going to go right that you did not anticipate. There are times when anything that can happen will happen. And you can either let it destroy your life or you can build upon it. You can permit it to let it hold you down or you can decide I'm not going to let that happen to me. I'm bigger than this. You'll get knocked down but you won't be knocked out. Make a declaration to yourself. Declare all out war that you're going to get out of this rut. I suggest to you that if you are facing a challenge, don't stop. Continue to move. Stay busy, stay busy, stay busy. Work your plan. It's not easy, but through practice and practice and practice, practice makes improvement. Because what you give is what you get. A true hunter is wired differently. He's wired differently. Doesn't have the same makeup. There's some of you, there are opportunities that you're like, it's too difficult, it's too hard, nobody can do it. You're not wired properly. A lion welcomes the challenge. As a matter of fact, they don't get excited unless it is a challenge. I lost five aunts to cancer in the last six years. I'm a lion. I'm wired differently. I didn't start crying. I didn't say, why me? I'm not hurting anybody. Why me? I'm wired differently. We turn tragedy into triumph. That's what lions do. Lions don't cry. Lions don't give up. Lions don't quit. Lions hunt. That's what we do for a living. And if you are a true lion, it does not make a difference what the circumstance is. Compelling reasons. While you're here, when you decide to live like a conqueror, what is it that can keep you on the straight and narrow? What are the reasons? Write down five compelling reasons of why you're going to keep your commitment to change your life. Keep your commitment never to go back to the life that you once lived. Keep your commitment to creating wealth for yourself, to taking care of your children, to be more responsible, to keep your commitment to be a conqueror and to act like it and to have authority and dominion of everything in your life. If life knocked you down, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. Your reasons will help you to get back up again. There'll be your rod and staff to comfort you. Take responsibility for your life. That dream that you have, that money that you want, if you're gonna make it happen, you're gonna have to be wired differently. Stand and he said to the man right on the stand, Hey, bum bum bum, got any grapes? The man said, No, we just sell lemonade, but it's cold and it's fresh and it's all homemade. Can I get a glass? The duck said, I'll pass. Then he waddled away, waddle waddle, till the very next day. Bum bum bum. Bam ba dum bam 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 ba dum When the duck walked up to the lemon estate And he said to the man round the stand Hey bam 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 Got any grapes? The 
man said no, like I said yesterday.